Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week 35, which is the first week of rank advancement month number something. All right. And this week has been unbelievable. Um, if you watch my Insta live, I spoke about the whole week being my best friend's wedding, Naresha's wedding, who is now the CEO of the V. Uh, loads of meetings. Yesterday was very lucky to spend a lot of time uh, with Dato Sri Vijay uh, in a few meetings and um, reminded me again of the value of having a good upline. All right. And today I was talking to V partner and AVP, V partner Kavita, AVP Dick Vijay, and V Council Praneshwar and Kriti's organization there in Bali for some recognition platform. And I spoke to them today. And I was telling them that your journey, okay, on this on this journey to max out, if you find a good working upline, if you have a good working upline, if you have an upline that guides you and pushes you and and mentors you on this journey, you consider yourself very lucky. All right, because I attribute all my success in the last 26 years, because I have somebody like Dato Sri Vijay. Okay. And the role of an upline in your journey is very important. Now, if you are brand new watching this Wednesday message of your gorgeous upline and chief, the one and only Patman Senati Raja, who represents Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, our great founders. If you have been in the business for some time, if you have been in the business for a long time, max out king, max out queen, doesn't matter. If your business has dropped and you're trying to rebuild your business, I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm going to say today. I think this concept of upline a lot of people don't understand it, all right? Because whoever you are watching my Wednesday message right now, you have an upline and you are an upline. Do you understand this statement? You have an upline and you are an upline. Now, to qualify to become an upline, all you need is one downline. And whether you have one, ten, one hundred, thousand, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, or like me, Japa, and Dato Sri, 30 million downlines. It doesn't matter. The principles, the value, the DNA of an upline remains the same, regardless of the size of your network. A lot of people think that if they have a small network, they don't have to be a great upline. If they have a big network, they have to be the greatest upline on the planet. I disagree. I think an upline is an upline is an upline. All right. So let's today talk about this word upline. Okay. And I'm going to say a few statements. And I want you to listen very carefully. Even the V kids, V teens who are watching Uncle Cheese, Uncle Patman on this Wednesday message, you also need an upline. Now, this role of upline is not limited only on your journey in network marketing. I think even in the journey of life, we all have uplines. We have people who basically guide us on the journey we are on. Like your journey of life, your parents were your first uplines. If you really understand the concept of uplines, your parents were your first uplines. All right? You completely depend, depended on them, right? You were completely dependent on them. You couldn't eat, you couldn't shower, 
you couldn't do anything without these uplines called mom and dad, mama and papa. You understand? Mommy and daddy. You could not survive without their guidance. Your mom was, your mom taught you the most basic stuff from putting on your buttons to your shirt, all right? Or how to brush your teeth. You understand or not? And a lot of people think upline means networking, knowledge, all right? But let's be neutral. An upline is somebody who guides you on the journey you are on. As simple as that. Because every journey of life requires somebody to guide you. Because we don't know. You go to university, you rely on your senior students to guide you, your professors, all right? You have your first job, you rely on your manager to guide you. All right, everything we do in life, every new thing we want to do in life, we look for somebody to guide us. Even you go to the gym, you have an upline, like a, like a personal trainer who trains you how to carry weights the correct way. Even if you want to cook, right, you have an upline on YouTube that teaches you how to cook. Everything in life we learn from others because we don't know about this. We don't know about so many aspects of life. If you become a mother for the first time or a father for the first time, you don't know how to be a mother and father. You ask your parents, you ask your uncle, your auntie, you're constantly on the phone getting guidance. Okay, my baby didn't eat today. What do I do? Or my baby has a rash on the neck. What do I do? And you call your upline. You are making promises to your downline that you are going to guide them that you will be there for them. That's why it irritates me so much when I meet so many networkers at VCon or when I travel around the world and they all come to me and say, Chief, I don't have an upline. And I said, why? You must have an upline. You must find an upline. Keep going up. And if you cannot find an upline with all the people above you, find a way to look for me. All right, I will be your upline. Do you understand? Because this journey networking without an upline, can you succeed? Yes. Can you max out? Yes. But it's not going to be enjoyable. It's going to be very challenging because you are alone and you never want to be on any journey alone. Think about it. Every journey in life you have taken, you have somebody there to just help you, tell you whether you are right or wrong, or at least just listen to you. So today's Wednesday message is for you to question yourself whether you are a good upline or not. All right? Okay? So these are the rules. These are the definition of what a good upline is. And you must do the test whether you are a good upline or not. I'll do the test for myself when I ask these questions. All right. The first rule of being an upline is you must know where you are going. Because when you lead people, you must know where you're going because they're all following you. Whether it's one person or 100,000 people, they all look at you and say, upline, we are following you. We are with you. So an upline needs to know the destination of himself, herself, and their organization. They need to know their targets, their goals, their dreams, their vision for their organization. Like Dato Sri Vijay in 1998, he clearly told me his vision. He said, Patman, follow me. In the next 10 years, we are going to be the greatest network marketing company in the industry. In the next 20 years, we are going to be in every country around the world. All right. In the next five years, Patman, we're going to have 5,000 people at our events in VCon around the world. You understand? Man? He planted this future. He planted the vision. He planted so many seeds in my mind that today has grown into magnificent trees. So as an upline, you cannot be lost. You cannot be uncertain of where you want to be in the next one year, two years, three years, or even three months. An upline needs clarity of where they want to be. 
because people are following you. Don't take this for granted because people actually trust you. They love you. They listen to you. This gives you a lot of power and this power must be used with great responsibility. Uplines will do anything you tell them to do. Your downlines will do anything you tell them to do. An upline needs to have clarity of where he or she is going, the vision. And you must talk about it all the time. An upline must talk about dreams, must talk about the big picture, must paint the most beautiful picture in the world for their downlines. You must know how to tell a story. You must know how to tell your story, your dream, your vision, where you want to be. Even if you just signed up yesterday, you must at least be able to tell your one downline about your dream. About your dream. At least that you must have the ability to tell them, hey, do you know? I signed up last week, you signed up this week, but I went through the eight basic building blocks and I found my dream and I want to share with you what my dream is so you know that your upline has a dream that they're willing to fight for and die for and you talk about your dream in a magnificent manner. Do you understand? The first thing the upline needs to know where you're going. Now the upline, second point, the upline must be connected back to the source of where our DNA, our value system comes from. That is from Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. All right, you must know that we live in an environment where the way we live is decided by the DNA of our founders. So in a nutshell, our founders practice simple things. I don't want to expand on everything they practice, but in a nutshell, Japa and Datusri believe in do good, be good. Do good, be good. It doesn't mean you cannot drink. It doesn't mean you cannot have parties. It doesn't mean you have to be a vegetarian. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, change yourself completely and be a copy paste of Japa and Datusri Vijay. No, you remain as who you are, but you follow the DNA, the value system of our great founders, that we want to help people, rhythm, raise yourself to help mankind, service above self. You understand? Do good, be good. All right? Support, train, educate, uh, hold people's hands when they need you. Just be there for them during their best times and their worst times. Just be a responsible upline, be an accountable upline, be a good upline, be a loving upline, be a caring upline. Be there for your people. This is the value system of Dato Sri Vijay. All right. The third thing that you have to practice as an upline is positive down, negative up. Positive down, negative up. Never allow your negativity to go towards your downlines. You have a bad day. Shut up and smile. Do you understand? When you're in front of your downlines. You have the worst day of your life. You still have a duty towards your downlines. Positive down, negative up. You have a bad day. You want to unload all your pain and your suffering and your frustration. Call your upline. Don't share it with your downline. Because your downline needs to constantly receive positivity, energy, love, care. Positive, 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 positive. Believe, 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 believe. Then they can rise. No matter how close you are to your downlines. All right. I am very close to all my downlines. Arun, Atli, Sati, David are my brothers. But you can ask them. When I am with them, it's always positive down. If ever I have anything negative, I call Dato Sri Vijay. And I sort it out. All right. He knows how to reset my mind so that I come back. So positive down, negative up. Because the environment that a Upline must create, must be a positive environment. Do you understand? And the fourth thing of an upline is walk your talk. Don't tell people to do presentation. If you are not doing presentation, you look like a moron. You look like a liar, a hypocrite, a con man, a con woman. Your downlines are not your employees. They are your business partners. 
and you must lead them by example lead by example lead by example all right so if you tell them all to do rule three you better be doing rule three if you tell them all to do presentation you better be doing presentation you tell them focus on networking 24 hours a day you better be focused on networking 24 hours a day do you understand all right you have to lead by example you have to walk the talk or don't talk if you cannot walk your talk don't be an upline don't belong to this industry called network marketing because your downlines are watching you they 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 decide they, they know what time you wake up they know how many presentations you do all right they know whether you're switched on or switched off they see your social media all right they monitor your life today you cannot hide uh, what time you wake up what you do how many presentations people will know an upline has to live to a higher benchmark of performance all right you can't tell your downline to send tat to you and you don't send your tat to your upline because one day your downline is going to meet your upline and they will know the truth that you don't send your tat but you demand them to send your tat it's ridiculous being an upline means you have to live to a higher benchmark do you understand you have to walk the talk you have to tell people to do something but make sure you do it also if you don't do it don't tell people to do it i never tell people to do what i don't do if i tell people to do presentation i guarantee you i'm doing presentation do you understand if i tell people to send tat i send my tat to datos dvj for 20 over years consistently without fail i'm not even one minute late every friday midnight at the same time after midnight i send him my tat are you guys with me or not all right this is fundamentally important as an upline you must walk the talk all right now remember i'm not telling you you have to be a great speaker i'm not telling you have to be a great trainer i'm not telling you have to be the best speaker on the stage and say unbelievable no no need i know a lot of uplines who are lousy speakers but great uplines do you understand and the final thing as an upline you cannot run when there's a challenge. You cannot hide when the kitchen is too hot. Do you understand? The saddest thing I've seen in my life, when there is a challenging situation, uplines disappear. And I know downlines who are warriors. I will never walk away. No matter how challenging the situation is, no matter how great the challenge is, I am your upline. And I am telling you, I will not hide. I will not run away. I'm born a warrior. I will die a warrior. An upline needs to be there during tough times, not only good times. This is a fundamental characteristic of an upline. Are you guys with me? So if you are an upline and times are challenging, and if you want to earn the respect of your downlines, you want them to follow you, you want them to listen to you, be there during difficult times. Be there during challenging times. Be there during good times, no problem. Go for their birthday, go for their children's wedding, hold hands, sing kumbaya once in a while, sit down in a cafe and relax in the afternoon, no problem. You understand? But, all right, be there during tough times. That's how great uplines are. Because Japa and Dato Sri Vijay was there for me during every difficult moment of my life. They never abandoned me. They never left me. They never demonstrated fear. They always demonstrated that they were great warriors. And that's why I follow them until today. And the final point, and this Wednesday message is long, the final point is do everything with care and love. An upline that cares and loves his or her downlines will always have loyalty of his people or her people. What I do, whether it's a Wednesday message, whether it's Insta Life, whether it's Recon, everything I do for Dato, for Japa, for you guys, I don't do it because I'm chief. I don't do it because it's, uh, you know, whatever. No, I do it because I love you guys. I do it because I care. That's why I do this. Are you guys with me? So do everything with love and care. That's how you become a great upline. Are you guys with me? So ask yourself, are you a good upline? Right? If you're not, become one. If you are, be consistent. But ultimately, 
when you become an upline, you have a responsibility, you have a duty towards your downlines because they depend on you to guide them, to hold your hand on this journey. Take this responsibility, take this duty very, very seriously. Are you guys with me? I love you guys.